Hello, and welcome to Info Patriot, where true American patriots get their news. I'm Jacob. And I'm Kawe. Today's news. Uh, Khashoggi killing. Looks like there's evidence to the, the, that supports Mohammed bin uh, Salman, the uh, Saudi uh, crown prince, uh, is uh, connected to the killing of the reporter that was killed in Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, that's uh, cool news. Uh, the exchanges of key pieces of information that helped uh, solidify the CIA's um, assessment in the Crown that Crown Prince ordered the killing of Mr. Khashoggi, a Washington Post columnist and Virginia resident who had been a critical of the, uh, who had been critical of the Saudi government. Yeah. Yeah, just, I wonder how that's going to play out. Nope. Next news. This is our Phil report. How do you feel about self-driving cars being on the road? Honestly, uh, like, you know, it's, it's kind of more like a laziness type of thing. Because you, you, re you don't really want to drive. You can just have, like, an Uber or anything like that. But I, I, I honestly really don't, like, mind it at all. So, you know, it's kind of better having self-driving cars. I feel that self-driving cars may cause a bunch of accidents to not occur and may be um, beneficial to society, but at the same time, there should be a lot of tests done beforehand, or at least the research published to a broader sense to where more people can view it, because if people don't know exactly what the cars can do, they will assume that they are they no they might assume that there are still a lot of bugs in the cars which could cause fatal injuries. Blood pressure drugs were called due to possible cancer risk. Uh, Telva uh, Pharmaceuticals is recalling two drugs used to treat high blood pressure due to possible cancer risk. The recall in includes two combo drugs: Elmodopine, Valsartan, combined tables and. And amlodipine, valsartan, valsartan, hydrochlorotizide combination tables, an impurity called N-nitrosodietylamine, NDEA, could be inside the drug. DNA is a human cartogen. Not good. Not good. And next news. George W. Bush dies... At 94. Uh, uh, he died in November 30. He died in uh, Texas, Houston, caused f because of uh, vascular Parkinson's. He is the 41st president of the United States and the father of the 43rd. Uh, he died less than eight months after his wife did. That's pretty sad. And he was a World War II veteran. He's also a World War II veteran. That, that, yeah. What else? Uh, SpaceX. SpaceX launches a 64 satellite in record breaking mission. Yeah. SpaceX is uh, ready to deploy 64 satellites in one fell swoop, a record setting mission. Elon Musk's It'll company is scheduled to launch the rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California on Monday between 1.32 uh, p.m. and 2 p.m. ET. Eastern time. It will be one of the largest satellite ride-sharing missions ever launched, and most crowned a U.S. history. Just and and most crowned mission on the United States history. And now we're gonna leave you. So see you guys later. I'm Jacob. I'm Kawe. And see you guys next time.